Hello, I'm Ashmi Majaria, Deputy Head Academic for the Junior School. Um, I'm going to do a little tutorial on how you can support your daughter with her reading at home. So firstly, it's really important to know that reading is broken up into two components. You've got decoding, which is the reading of the actual words, and comprehension, which is the understanding of those words. In today's tutorial, I'll be looking mostly at comprehension. So. Here are my top seven tips for making reading enjoyable and encouraging your daughter to read. The first thing is being a role model. Model that reading. Quite often we read once the children are asleep because that's our downtime. But actually, it's really, really important for children to see you as readers, see you taking pleasure in that reading. The second thing that's really, really important is for you to create those experiences. So if you're looking at a book about the forest or woodlands, take your daughter to the forest and use words from the book or novel. Rereading the same book is also really important. Children often want to reread the same book over and over again. And for parents, this can be quite frustrating, but please let them. Rereading books over and over again builds vocabulary into the long term memory. Fourthly, it's really important that you make books and reading material available. This should not just be confined to your bookshelf. Scatter books around the house, newspapers, magazines and recipe books. Make reading accessible for your daughter. Incorporate art and craft activities. So you might get your daughter to paint a picture of a scene. Then you might get your daughter to read a text and skim and scan for words and phrases to describe that image then you can scatter that image with those words and phrases. Um, hot seating, puppet shows and role play, all great ideas to develop that reading and comprehension understanding. And lastly, it's really important that you find a comfortable, quiet space to read with your daughter. Try not to make it a rushed part of your day, as hard as I know this can be. So I'm now going to share two strategies with you which can help develop comprehension. They are quick strategies which can be used across from nursery right up to year six. The first strategy is called roll on the wall. This is to help you develop retrieval and inference. Retrieval is retrieving inf uh, information from a text. So you'll see here I've read the Gruffalo and in yellow I've retrieved information. Bright orange eyes, poisonous wart, curved horns, sharp claws. These are things which are already in the text. I've then made inferences based on the information I've retrieved in blue. So I've inferred that he damages things, that he might have harmed animals, that he's dangerous, and perhaps that he is vicious. You can do this activity with your daughter in a number of ways. You can do it as I have, or you can use post-its of different colors. You might get your daughter to write it in the gingerbread man template and outside. You might just discuss it with your daughter. It really depends on the age and ability of your daughter. The second strategy I'm going to share with you is called the zones of relevance. This strategy will help your daughter build her vocabulary. With this activity, you can take a picture or an extract from a novel. You will then get a range of words which are both relevant and irrelevant to that picture or that bit of text. Then you'll have a discussion with your daughter around whether the words are relevant, irrelevant. And once you've decided which words are relevant, discussing which are most relevant and why. Again, this can be done right from nursery to year six. And the most important thing with this activity is the conversation that goes along with it. Talk for reading is as important as talk for writing. So that's a couple of strategies with my top seven tips. I hope that you find that helpful and there'll be more tutorials to come.